Living Upstate is here in Mills River, North Carolina at Deep Woods Mushrooms. I'm here with my mushroom guy, that is Greg Carter. Uh, thank you so much for having us out today. Welcome back, Jamarcus. Yeah, it's good to be back here in the, in the classroom. And everyone who knows me, yes, I like to wear mushroom shirts, but I love my it. interest in mycology and mushrooms has grown over the last couple of years, spending a lot of time in the woods. And I wanted to know what mushrooms were, which ones were harmful, which ones were not. And that's why I came here to Deep Woods. And Greg, you were such an, an amazing teacher. You're, you are the mushroom guy. The well, farm guy, as you're called. I like to be called, be noted now as Johnny Mushroom Sport. <laughs> I'm your local enthusiast yes. sharing my knowledge so you can be a Johnny Mushroom Sport yes. as well. <laughs> and, and your classes are so approachable and you learn so much information and you do it in such a laid bag. You got such a great spot here. Uh, that's really a lot of teaching going on here. I was growing um, uh, 50, 75, 100 pounds a week consistently, mm -hmm. supplying all the area restaurants and doing uh, tailgate markets. And then COVID hit and everything changed. Restaurants shut down, tailgate markets no longer operated. So I scaled way back. That's when the movie Fantastic Fungi came out. Oh yeah. And that sparked everybody's interest. I had an outdoor activity. People had the time to come and learn about mushrooms. And I, that's when I took my class, it was during COVID because I, I, everyone had a COVID hobby that you Correct. want to learn something new or try something new. And that's when my interest in mushroom and foraging uh, kind of came about. And I was like looking up places to take the class and I found you and that really kind of sparred my interest in it even to a different level because I'm always texting and emailing him being like, what is this? Or is this what I'm thinking it is? What is your, you're saying there? There are old foragers and bold foragers. There are no old bold foragers. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> uh, so talk about uh, teaching people this. I mean, mycology is such a, th th you're never gonna know it all. <laughs> right, it's a lifelong endeavor. Everybody knows about mushrooms. Very few people know a lot about mushrooms. And I personally don't know a lot, but being a commercial grower and forager for as long as I have, I'm able to explain it because my passion is in mushrooms and and to explain it and bring it down to layman's level I'm not a mycologist although I do have a PhD <laughs> it hangs in my shed it helps me grow mushrooms it's a post hole digger <laughs> but I'm, I'm mainly self-taught with the help of of the Asheville Mushroom Club. Alan Muscat was a, 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 my guru. Uh, he is the mushroom guru in Asheville. Mm -hmm. But being involved in this for as long and doing the reading and everything, uh, mushrooming is a lifelong endeavor. And, and so I keep it very basic to get people started on their fungal journey. And so what would you say to folks out there watching this and said, I've always been interested. Is that class right for me? It's about four hours. You, you feed us, we get to go out and like look around stuff. And it, it, it's a lot of fun. You, it goes by so fast. Yes, and it's and it just gets you started. But I, you're not going to see them all at one time. So I do offer my assistance when you're finding mushrooms down the road or come back for a very short visit to see what's out in a different season. Uh, and and I, I want people to be a better grower than me. I want people to be a better forager than me. <laughs> it's just gonna take a little longer. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time to get that much knowledge, but it, it is really fun to kind of know about it. Taking the fear out of mushroom, because you said there's like that, that fungal fear. People that not knowing. Yeah, not where, knowing exactly. where as they grew up and their parents said, don't touch that, <laughs> you'll die. There is some truth to that. There are yeah. some you just want to say nice mushroom and walk <laughs> by. <laughs> Uh, but there's other ones that people, why do you want to hunt mushrooms? Well, it's a, it's a culinary treat. A lot of these mushrooms you're not going to get in a grocery store. You'll only get in a restaurant unless you're paying an exorbitant amount of money. Right. And if you're a hiker or a biker or a fisherman or an outdoorsman, learn the fungi like you would know your berries. Exactly. Yeah. Or like people are, are sports enthusiasts. Like I never thought I would get so excited about finding my first hint of the woods. Right. But I couldn't tell you I was smiling ear to ear and holding that yeah. thing was probably equivalent to holding your first newborn. But yeah. well, and, that, and, and so it's like Easter egg hunting for adults. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a great way to put it. So people watching this, obviously, it's a good thing to do as a group act activity. And on your website, you have, you know, people can sign up for those classes, email you and say, hey, I have 10 people coming together and you'll give them kind of the best practices of how to get here to carpool and come together, which is Correct. always a good way to do that. Correct. But it's, I mean, you give us a nice little package to leave. We have like some books and some 
materials, our little, you know, cleaning. Handy dandy, <laughs> you know what you're doing, mushroom hunting tool. Yeah, yep. and it's so yep. helpful. Well, we're lucky to be able to have you here in, in this area and have all your information. And I urge everybody to go out and take a class and you won't look back, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll put all the information about Deep Woods Mushrooms at our website, livingupstatesc.com. Thanks, Greg. Thank you, Jamarcus. <laughs>